Hello, hello. I wanted to talk more about past lives and how they relate to astrology. Um, I wanted to talk about just what exactly can we pull from a past life reading or a past life regression. Past lives, alternate lives, parallel lives tell us the history of our soul's journey. So we can pull out pretty much anything and everything. So I have some things listed here. <clears throat> From a past life reading or a past life regression, we can look at our family connection, our ancestral connection. We can look at family secrets. Um, maybe if we had children or babies in past lives, if we had maybe a very tumultuous pregnancy or a traumatic miscarriage. We can look at past lives for that information to see how it's affecting our womb, our emotional body, and this current reality. We can look at fears, psychological traumas, sexual abuse, karmic, spiritual, or financial debts, and even enemies, spells, curses that we may have acquired in past lives and have carried on over into this one. We can look at lives beyond Earth, beyond Earth history. Maybe if we had a life as a mermaid, that's something that we can definitely look into. As well as if we've had any drug or alcohol addictions in past lives. Say you've maybe dealt with addiction, but nobody in your family has dealt with addiction. Maybe this is something from a past life that has carried over to this one. Some more things that we can look at include health indicators. Um, maybe we had fatal illnesses or long-term illnesses in past lives that have carried over to this one. Maybe we were hospitalized or put into a mental institution of some sort. And the trauma from that experience has led to certain fears and um, just things that we've dealt with in this life. Of course, we can always look at gifts that we've acquired over past lives. Maybe in a past life, we were a healer, a shaman, a medium, a gifted cook. And when we tap into these expressions of our consciousness, when we tap into a past life reading and we see these, this wonderful gift that we had and the confidence that we had when we were um, displaying this gift, we can draw that and use that in our current reality to help us with our soul's journey, purpose, and mission. So in astrology, I think it's very important for us to always look at the water houses. Water holds memory. So you want to look at your fourth house, your eighth house, and your twelfth house. The eighth house would more so point to fear, psychological traumas. Um, the fourth house, of course, would be family, your ancestral connection. And the twelfth house generally points to past lives. The 12th house is where we go to resolve karma. So you want to look at the planets and the sign of your 12th house to understand what are your largest or the most pertinent karmic themes that you're dealing with um, in this current reality. You also want to look at the 6th house for those health indications. You want to look at the 8th house for the long-term and fatal illnesses. The 12th house for... Um, Maybe if you had an addiction of some sort. Some other houses to look at. I put the ninth house here as well because the ninth house can let us know of cultures that we've been a part of, um, knowledge, wisdom, education that we've acquired from other lives, as well as our spiritual and religious beliefs. So I'm writing a full blog post on this and I'm going to definitely link it to this video. But I kind of just wanted to go over some things here. I felt that it was cool to make a video about it and give everybody an idea of what it's like to do a past life reading or what kind of information you can pull from a past life reading. And if you're into astrology, how you can begin to piece those things together for yourself. Um, all in all, Karmic justice says that if a soul is able to take responsibility for itself, it creates a positive future. So what we're doing, again, when we tap into these past life aspects of ourselves, is taking responsibility for our multidimensional nature, for all of our expressions of consciousness, consolidating them and integrating them into this current reality so we can move forward and hopefully not have to reincarnate here. So I will link my blog post below. 
but that's all.